Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you enjoy these bit videos, please be sure to click like and subscribe. And if you click the little bell next to the subscribe, you'll be notified of future videos. Kanye West, Kim Kardashian, this is a six year marriage. He's been in the news quite a bit with his bid for president and possibly wanting to divorce Kim. I want to tell you that uh, this reading is for entertainment purposes only, not based upon factual evidence. And I also want to tell you that I do not keep up with the Kardashians or Kanye West. So I'm coming into this reading with not a lot of experience about them. I do know that Kanye was born June 8th, 1977. He's a rapper, singer, songwriter. Um, he's, he's got uh, two daughters, two sons. And... I can also tell you that his family is concerned that he is suffering from uh, a, a mental disability or a mental condition, um, bipolar or maybe something else. I'm not saying that that is true. That's just one of the things that is in the media. Now, one of the things that is coming out is he claims that Kim and Kardashian and her mother, Kris Jenner, are white supremacists. And he's attempting or trying to divorce her. This is all alleged. Um, allegedly, she tried to visit him at his ranch, and he told her she wasn't welcome. And it is believed, allegedly again, that maybe she was bringing doctors to uh, detain him against his will. This is all just alleged. And supposedly, his doctors um, assessed him and found him to be uh, mentally stable at this time, or at the time they did that. There could be a custody battle if they divorced. And I was asked to do a reading on uh, Kanye West. So one of the first things that I turn to is numerology because I've studied that for 25 years. I just kind of have a comfort level with starting there. So the first thing I do is look at the birth name, Kanye o Omari West. And I apologize if I'm pronouncing any of these names incorrectly. So the pattern of his first name is 21575, uh, 64199, and the last name 5512. He, he used an 8 for his day that he was born, and when you add the day to the month, I deem that personally, I call that the personality number. Um, in the year 2020, he is in a 9 year, which you add 5 plus 2 plus 2 is 9, and that means endings. It's also a year of compassion. Now, 9s can be leadership also, so this may have been one of the things that um, was influencing him to possibly, you know, but it's not leadership like a 1, all right? It's leadership with compassion and wanting to teach, and, and uh, so I put compassion in here. So his first name starts with a K, which is a two, which makes him a little bit sensitive. He can be a little bit on the sensitive, almost mildly shy um, side, and he has to trust you before he fully opens up to you, all right? The one means he does have leadership potential, and the 21575 means he came here to generate change. Um, he came, his, his numbers are like, this is generating change. And the 99 nine here in the middle name is like, to show you that if something's not working in your life, leave it behind, walk away, generate change, the 5-5, five five, generate change. And also, west is a direction, so let's head in another direction. <laughs> it's kind of interesting there. Um, eight makes him very powerful, all right? Eights are very powerful. In fact, it is the most powerful number in numerology. When you add the month and day together, like I said, it makes him a five for his personality. He has a comfort level with fives. He's got a couple in the first name and a couple in the last name. Very comfortable with change and freedom and adventure. Then we look at Kimberly no Noel Kardashian's numbers. She's a two nine four two five nine three seven. <laughs> I won't even read all these because you can just see them. Um, so she also starts with a K, all right? And so this is a two. So this is probably what drew them together was the K, the two here. And also he wanted to be in a relationship where he can still retain his power, right? The minute he doesn't feel like he has his power, um, and this doesn't mean bad power, like power over people. This just means your inner strength, you know, your inner strength power. Whereas she came into the world as a three and in a very intense month of one, she wants her individuality, which is probably why she still kept her, her maiden name. And that three 
is communication. So she's big into the communication world. And not only that, but organized, organized communication. This is what she's about having a business plan, right? Four is love to plan. Now, five makes him a little, you know, unpredictable. He might want to go here. He might want to go there. He might be unpredictable. Fours don't like that. Okay. So in their personalities, they do have a little bit of a conflict. Not, not that that's bad, but there is a conflict there. Um, in 2020, she's in an eight year, which is all about power uh, and wealth and status, right? Eights want status. And so her first name, um, she also has a mildly shy part. She can, she can be um, alone. Like she has the ability to be alone with this nine. But here comes this four again with stability and relationships because she's got two twos here and a two in her date of birth. Relationships are important to her, okay? They are very important to her, as is communication. Um, because she's got a one here and a seven here, and she's got a couple of, quite a few, three one, no, four. Oh my gosh, four ones in her last name makes her very independent, all right, so she again, just like him, he wants to retain who he is. She wants to retain her independence. So that's the numerology. Um, so now we get back to what's going on here with Kanye West. Um, we see a picture of him with Kim. Um, they make a stunning couple. And as you know, my channel is not about projecting hate at anyone. I refuse to do that. I simply read the cards. So... Um, now we notice he's got a little bit of a frown here. You know, he, he's one of those people that you can really read what he's like from his face and his body language. You can really get a good sense of that, you know, he's not really in the best of moods. And yet she has practiced like a neutralness or a mild curiosity in her eyes. And this like kind of like a, a smile. And so she's a little harder to read than he is for the body language. And then, of course, here you can definitely see his eyes. He's definitely not happy. Uh, see that his lips and the frown and see he's doing the same thing here. He's frowning. Something's not going right with him. So we are going to turn to the tarot cards, which is what uh, we do. And we're going to ask... Uh, we're going to be very respectful of both these people's lives because, you know, it's what we have to do. So I'm, we're going to be careful. But the first thing I'm going to do is ask the cards to talk to me about his bid for presidency. Tell me about what's going on with him, you know, in this presidency thing. So I'm using the Robin Wood um, tarot. And I kind of just shuffle like this. And when, the, when it feels like I'm done, I pick a card out. So we're just going to tell a little story about the presidency, the run. Whoa, he found out that it's a lot more burdensome than he thought. Um, this is the card about burdens and, oh my gosh, I have to tread down this path and there's so many things I have to think about and do. And um, so he's discovering that it's not the easy, it's not an easy path at all. Um, he likes the aspect of it of people celebrating. He, he wants people to be happy. He wants people to get along. This is his kind of his core theme, if you want to say, is just almost like uh, like the, the three women dancing here. This is just about, this could be music too. Like he's having to decide if he did that, he would have to leave music behind, which is this looks like his core passion. Let's get the people dancing, moving, things like that. Um, um, and then he's got to focus on the children, on the child. Um, so what's going to happen? Is he going to finish this presidential election thing? Is he, is he going to finish this and go through with some kind of an election process? Um, he's going to choose his own happiness. And this is a nine. This is endings. That's, and so none of these are leadership cards, by the way. If I would have gotten emperor, you know, or something like this, um, so he's ready to go down a new path. He really is the timing. See the timing here. He really does want to go down a new path here, but he wants to choose his own happiness. And this of course is, can be wealth, luck and money. He's having luck with money. Um, so we're still going to see here. I, I think he's got a strong desire to still be a leadership. The fool is up on the mountain. Um, however, he's got to play He's got to play it right. Is this really for him? Does he really have what it takes to be this? And so um, this is like he doesn't want to be a fool. He doesn't want people to think that he's a fool um, or that he's making foolish decisions. He would not want people to think of that. Now, with his eight, 
he is very powerful and like eights like to be in power. This is the star card where he's got to try to balance out his life. He's got to try to figure out where does he want to, you know, spend his time. This just tells me that the planets are lining up for him to be a shining star. So something good is on the horizon for him. Something good is on the horizon. And there he is. He's fired up about something. He's like, we've got to do something. He's really going to be fired up about the cause of something. Um, oh, and here he is with the family and the children. So he, both the Nine of Cups and the Sun card, he's wanting happiness. This is what his this is what his goal is. It's not to be president. It's not to be the top rapper or singer. Ultimately, this man wants happiness and he wants to share it with others. He wants everyone to be happy. Um, yeah. So this is this is interesting. So then I'm going to ask a different set of cards. Is so I I don't feel if you want my interpretation of that I don't feel he'll you know that this presidential thing is going to go through not this year I don't know what the future brings but for this year no I don't I don't feel like it's going to go there now I'm going to shuffle a little bit different way here I'm just going to lay the cards out and ask um, what is the status of his marriage right now what's the status of his marriage with Kim Kardashian so one of them is out of the picture. <laughs> right? Because we only have a hand here. Uh, and there, and so he's definitely focused on the relationship, all right? But one of them's not there. Like there's been somebody missing, like it's missing. So something missing in the relationship. There's, it's just, maybe she wasn't the person that he thought she was because there's like this hidden side. There's like this, maybe a hidden side to her or something that got revealed to him that he wasn't aware of. Um, Oh, this is interesting. The King of Cups. This is the family card. So this has kind of a dual nature because he wants, he on one hand, he wants to keep the family, he'd like to keep the family together um, because he is a family person, but they're night and day. It's like they are night and day, black and white, um, not, in the, not in the race thing. This means... Black and white means he sees one direction, she sees the other. It's like night and day. It's like they're, right now they are polar opposites. And so what's going to happen with that? The world. So they. So it's almost like, um, so this is interesting in this particular deck, he's facing away and letting her have her freedom. Or he's, you know, he's getting his freedom by letting her have her freedom. There's a big change coming. These are major cards. Um, this is literally the chariot, the movement card, and the world, which is a major change. Wow. And he's seeing things from a higher perspective now. He's seeing things from a higher perspective. So... Um, this is a sensitive topic, and I'm going to approach it with all sensitivity. So I'm simply going to ask the cards when he allegedly claimed that Kim and uh, Kris Jenner have kind of a negative, let's just call it a negative view, a negative view on a certain race of people. I'm just going to call it that. I just, you have to be so sensitive. Um, what What is, I'm just going to ask Kim, does Kim have any negative view of certain types of people does she hold that in her or not she does ace of pentacles means yes but i feel like it it goes beyond i think that she was well this is a yes so let's just see what else could be you know she just everybody changes at times oh dear um five of pentacles so certain classes of people suffer or are suffering. Um, let me see what else. So ultimately, she wants a happy family. And this can be a family tree. So this is like my yes card that she does kind of have that ability to view certain people differently. I'll just call it that. We'll try to remain as neutral as we can. And she can have the ability to judge people like poor people. She can have the ability to judge that. This is like the poor. But ultimately, um, 
She wants to have a happy family. Ultimately, this is her goal. Is she wants to be able to have a happy family, um, which, you know, is understandably. So she does have a little bit of, you know, judgment. Probably, um, you know, people are brought up under different circumstances. So is she wanting to save the marriage if it is... If, she suspects he does, because this is all alleged. I never like to put anything set in stone. Is Kim Kardashian, Kardashian wanting to stay married to Kanye? Is she wanting to save the marriage? Is she truly wanting to save the marriage? Boy, this is a tough card to get. She wants to hang in there. She'd like... She'd like to hang in there, but let's just see what else that, that's a major card. Well, this is kind of moving away from a different, difficult situation, but that can also be moving in the direction. How did this get in here? Oh, this is that card. I didn't realize this card was in here. The shadow side, I never knew there was this card in here. Yeah, there's just a lot of, there's a lot of things going on. Um, and I feel like possibly her, like her, she's dealing with her, literally with dealing with her shadow side, which could be self-judgment. You know, how was I raised and, and what are my views? I mean, this is, this is doing shadow work. I feel like she's doing shadow work and this isn't easy. This is not easy for her. Let's grab another deck and see um, if Kanye wants to stay in this marriage with her. Does Kanye want to stay in the marriage with her? Too much of a burden. This is the bur same burden card that we got before, Ten of Wands. And there he is, like, packing up his things, going to an entirely different area. Um, so, you know... The hero font. That's kind of like taking your vows. Like when you've taken your vows, it can be the marriage religious card. Um, and he's very focused on, he's very focused on her. Um, which is, you know, not a, not a good or bad thing. Oh dear. Um, this isn't going well. Seven of swords means that uh, troubling information or that he's discovered troubling information about her. So the Seven of Swords means maybe she's kept information from him or, or he's discovered information and it's definitely uh, changed him. So um, this is going to be interesting. What's going, what immediately, actually I'm going to pull an Oracle card right now. What does, what Oracle card comes up around Kanye? I'd like to keep the focus on Kanye. Um, he's just going to have to have patience. So the guidance for Kanye is patience. And by the way, this is a 23, and he's got a lot of uh, five energy. He's got a five for personality, so this is definitely based at him. Just be patient. The guidance is be patient. The right thing will happen at the right time. I'm also going to pull a rune card and see which rune we get for Kanye. We get. I feel like it's, it's um, Iwas. Oh, the letter E. You know, the letter E is five. Um, it's movement, travel, journey, trust, transportation, um, moving ahead, intentional forward movement. Yeah, I'm going to say that he's probably, he's probably going to be moving ahead with his life. That's what I feel. Um, this is, this is interesting. So what... What can Kanye expect uh, for his immediate future? What's going to happen for his immediate future? So he's going to stay close to home where he feels comfortable. He's going and surrounded by people that he likes. This is the Four of Rods, which is the Four of Wands. So he's going to surround himself with people he trusts, people he likes, people that make him feel good. And I'm also going to find out business-wise... What does he need to know business-wise, for business-wise? What does he have to know? So he's, he's, 
wants to bring something new in his life. He's ready. This is the hermit. He's ready for something to end and shine the light on something else. And this is this is the card that is a nine. And it's having leadership, but with compassion and understanding. So I think he's being guided to something different in his life. Um, now, the hermit is facing away from her, so he's he's feeling a little bit trapped in this situation from her. See, the if you look at the imagery here, there's a feeling of trapped around her, feeling of trapped. Something, something feels trapped. He might not know how to proceed with the future uh, regarding her, but he's going to stay strong. He's going to get on top of it. The emperor means he's, he's going to stay on top of his world here. He's going to be, you know, lead his own life in his direction. Um, and this card does overpower her. So in other words, not overpower physically, but he's going to make his decision based on what he wants and not, and I, I don't know why I want to say this, but not let her control anything anymore, if that makes sense. Um, it's almost like he's, he's not going to do things the way she wanted things done. He's going to do things his way. So this is kind of interesting in that way. Um, yeah, he's taking a time out. That's a retreat. Let's switch over to her for just a minute, and let's just ask if um, what's going to be the result for her of this um, of this whole issue with Kanye. What's going to be the result of this for Kim Kardashian? Yeah, see, this is walking away. This is just, I invested. This is somebody who's invested a lot of energy into something, and then they just said, I have to walk away. I'm going to walk away. That's what this is. So you might hear that conclusion where she's going to emotionally detach. Um, and this is pursuing something that she loves or someone else could be, you know, I don't want to say this, but this can be a suitor card, like somebody else is interested in her or something. Um, it doesn't have to be. It could be just that she's pursuing something she loves. She's going to focus on the children and her family. Um, oh, that's a deception card. Why is that coming up? That's the moon. That's deception. Huh. What's that about? Didn't expect that. Why did you show up? Oh, my. Going down a different road. Oh, my God. I wonder if this... All right. Let me think this through. I wonder if she finds out something in her own family that was kept from her, like deception in her own family, and and has a disconnect from somebody. Who? What is this about? This is very interesting with her. Pulled in two different directions. Oh my! It's almost like the the family could be having a split within the Kardashian. Kardashian, Kardashian family, like there's going to be a separation, a split, a split within the family. Oh my, not too happy about it. Not very happy about it. I wonder if that would affect her business. I wonder if she's tied up. Yeah. Okay. So she, this is, this is her year to figure herself out. Um, and of course in eight year, you either feel powerful or you feel powerless. And so it's this, this year is about what is she, what is she going to do? Wow. Wow. That's a lot for her. I wasn't expecting quite that much. So, you know, all of us can experience uh, turmoil in our lives. And when you have the spotlight on you, it makes it even harder. And so it's not that any of them are right or any of them are wrong. They're just, you know, in the spotlight and they're just making decisions based on whatever life path they lived. So as a reader, I will always stay neutral on things like this. I'll never encourage anyone to dislike or project hatred at anyone because it, it what does that accomplish? You know, it doesn't accomplish anything. And so knowing that they've got a turbulent past ahead of them, I'm going to end this by wishing them the very best for both of them, whether they stay together or leave, and the very best for their family. I wish you the very best and the very best for your family. Thank you for being on my channel. I appreciate every one of you.